in the diagram k is parallel to m, remember that the two straight up and down lines like this is the symbol for parallel. Answer the following questions. Use the vocabulary that we learned specifically about when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. The first question is to name a pair of alternate interior angles. And this, this term, alternate interior, has two special words. All right? Interior means inside or in between the parallel lines. Alternate means on opposite sides and on opposite parts of the picture. So for example, if I took angle 8, angle 2 would be alternate interior because they're both inside the parallel lines and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So 8 and 2 is one pair. There is another pair, namely 7 and 1. And those would both be acceptable answers. Onward to part B. It says angles 4 and 8 are known as something. And if you remember, uh, I used the analogy of playing box ball in class. All right, 4 and 8 are in the same position. They're in the lower left-hand corner of the game of box ball. And the word given to that is corresponding. Now, you may have noticed that 4 and 8 are both acute angles, which would make them congruent in this picture. So if you wrote the word congruent, I would say that you were also correct. But when I wrote the question, I, was want I wanted to see if you knew the vocabulary corresponding. But I would have accepted co uh, congruent as well. But notice there are different words. Corresponding is the angle placement, and congruent means the two angles are equal. All right, naming a pair of vertical angles. There are lots of vertical angles. Um, at each intersection point, there are going to be two pairs. So vertical angles are ones that are across from each other. All right, so for example, 6 and 8 are a pair, 5 and 7 are a pair, and if we go lower um, to the lower part of the picture, 2 and 4 are a pair, and 1 and 3 are a pair. Any of those would work. All right, linear pairs are pairs that form a line together. So for example, if I took angle 5 and I paired it off with angle 6, if you notice, they are not congruent, but they are supplementary and they form a line together. So 5 and 6 is a perfectly acceptable linear pair. There are lots and lots of linear pairs on the picture, so I will try to address them all. If we went around on the top part of the picture, 6 and 7 would be a linear pair, 7 and 8 is a linear pair, and 8 and 5 is a linear pair. On the bottom, we have 1 and 4, we have 4 and 3, we have 3 and 2, and we have 2 and 1. Any of those would work. All right, angles 3 and 6 are, if you notice, they are on the same side of the transversal. And they are outside the transversal, so we call them same side exterior angles. All right, part F says name a pair of supplementary angles that is not a linear pair. So basically what that means is, if you remember, we're looking for acutes and obtuses. We're looking for a pair of acute, a pair of which one member is an acute angle and one member is an obtuse angle. So if I went around here, uh, if you notice, angle 6 is acute, angle 5 is obtuse, angle 8 is acute, angle 7 is obtuse. Angle 1 is obtuse, angle 2 is acute, angle 3 is obtuse, and angle 4 is acute. Um, so you need to name a pair, uh, well, a, the pair of angles has to have one member who is acute and one member who is obtuse, but they may not be a linear pair. So for example, I could take 5 as my obtuse, per, uh, my obtuse angle, and I could decide that 4 is going to be the acute pairing, because notice they don't literally form a line together, they're not adjacent to each other. There are lots and lots of answers to this question. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single answer, but that's one example of an answer. All right, one more. It says, name two angles which are congruent but are not vertical angles. So if you look in part C, we named all the pairs of vertical angles. So we don't want to name any of those pairs. So for example, we'll go back and again, just rehash our acutes and obtuses. And in this picture, 
we know that the acutes are all equal to each other. So for example, if I took angle 4 and compared it to angle 6, they are equal, but they're not vertical angles because they're not, they don't share the same vertex. They clearly have different vertices. Um, another pair that would work for an obtuse, you could, you could choose an obtuse pair. For example, 5 and 1 would be correct. And there are many, many other answers. So those are not the only two answers.